Hello there. Kia ora. Hi. Dancing with the Stars, week one. Reactions, opinions, thoughts. Well, to start off with, we watched this okay. a full week ago. Yeah. So I thought the best uh, way maybe to begin this is to talk about the ones we actually remember. Because that's probably a good sign if we remember it a week later. Uh, the first person that I can think of when I think of Dance with the Stars from this year was William. William oh, Lyra, yeah. Meme guy. Yes, he had yep. the, the... Speed shades. Speed shades, even though it's, it's, it's like a cyborg speed shade. It's not actual speed shades. It's a, it's a it's specific what, type of speed shade. It is what speed shades will look like in the future. Ooh! I'm future calling it. Future speed shades. I'm calling it. Oh, that's our first call already done. <laughs> Ooh, coming in hot and fast. You know, fast and hot. It's hot not going to be anyone that wins Dance with the Stars. It'll be those speed shades. Oh, yeah. They're going to win the crown. Oof. Can you imagine just the speed shades like doing a dance? And then it wins the globe. That It better get an, an, some award. It's got it. It can get an award from us. We could have an end of year prize giving. Comment below if you think that should be an idea. <laughs> anyway, William, I, I found him very entertaining. He, yeah. he caught your attention, very performance orientated, yeah. and was a laugh and a half, and I enjoyed it. His technique is like, eh, but who's looking at your fancy feet when you've got a goofy face? Yeah, he and had also, the performance and he mm. was laughable. Yes, I found him relatable way. because he is like, if I went on Dancing with the Stars, yeah, I would probably <laughs> look like that. You'd probably wear the speed shades too. Oh, I'm 50-50 on speed shades. I'm not 100% committed to speed shades. I, I have to wear normal glasses because I'm blind. Who, who's the second person you actually remember though? See, on the other end of the spectrum was Walt. Ah, oh, yes. Now, I don't remember him <laughs> for good reasons. Yeah, I Walt. I remember him because it was... The best way to put it is cringe. <laughs> I was trying just the entire time. I think I spent we I think we spent the entire time going. You can tell he's from kids' town. Oh, he hundred like, percent sure. has he's that persona. Yeah, it's just that like so many high fives, so many fist bumps in a short amount of time. It's like a thirty-year-old acting like a thirteen, nah, oh. eight. Year old. When you when you have an yeah. adult audience, it's just like oh. ugh, like he means well. Like we've just finished watching the weather, and then he oh, did just get hit in the face just with so that. It's so full on. Like I just you gotta give me some warning if you're gonna be like. So I'm conflicted with Walt because he he's, was even though he's he was athletic. A bit cringe, he's athletic. So and he's cringe. got like some sort of. Rhythm, I feel but like it's like he's probably out of all of them is one of the people that are most likely to put in a lot of work to improve. So do you reckon he's gonna be the Rog? Yeah, maybe. Ooh. He could he could improve quite a bit. Because you know, the thing is if you start out and you kind of get the lowest score, there's you only, can only kind go of one way to go. Oh. And I'll mind you. David Seymour. Ooh. Well, the Seymour effect is a whole <laughs> different ball game. We won't go into that right now. Oopsie. Yeah, maybe that's why it was so comical as well, is because he's so tall. Oh and she's so yes. Yeah. He is very tall and she's cool. very small. It's, yeah. it's so a proper I mean, yin and yang. It's only week one, so I feel yeah. like he had potential to improve just because he's really dedicated. Dedicated to the cause. Yeah. But so, is the cause dedicated to him? I don't think he's a winner. Do you think the New Zealand public liked him though? Uh, I don't know. Because it depends what age. Well, the people's favourite. Shall we talk about the people's favourite? Mike McRoberts. Oh, Mike McRoberts. New Zealand's ethnically ambiguous dad. Yes? No? Yeah. The Silver Fox. The Silver Fox. The Silver um, Fox. To be honest, I don't actually really remember his dance. It was like so watching. Kind of in that it was group. like watching your recently divorced dad try and flirt. Yeah, yeah. actually, that's. It was yeah. kind of from what I remember. It was very much like drunk uncle at a wedding. You know the one. There's always there's always one. Like why why do we know so much about Mike McRoberts' abs? 
He just does the news. I'll tell you what though, one oh, thing God, is, he he's does. definitely got confidence. Does he? A like, bit too much. I don't know if it, like... Have you seen him in all of the ants and like whenever the camera pans across to him, he's yeah, just got when that, he was actually that dancing. Mike McRoberts pout. Somebody who I think actually had good technique was Kaylee. Mm. She had good footwork. Mm. Yeah, mm. but you'd, you'd expect that considering she's a singer and performer and mm. whatnot. Mm. Mm. I remember her. Yes. Laura. Yes. Carol. Carolyn. Carolyn. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Goes to show how much I knew them before they were on Dancing Apparently with the Stars. Apparently she was from What Now. I don't remember. Mm. Not, I don't yeah, remember I thought so because I was. All I remember is Jason from What Now. I remembered her because when I saw her, I was like, mm. "Did you know?" Oh, I'll bring that up later. But Jason Gunn, he used to be the host of. Uh, Dancer with the Stars. Yeah. Yeah. OG. I know. Do you think Jason Gunn is a better host of Dance with the Stars than Dyer Henwood is? Yes. Yeah. Jason Gunn too. is iconic. He's he's like New Zealand's dad before Mike McRoberts. Yeah. yeah. But he was New Zealand's fun dad. Not New he's Zealand's still, weirdly sexy dad. He is still a fun dad. I saw him oh, at Time Out in Christchurch <laughs> years ago. Don't ask me why I was there. I don't remember. And he was with his lovely daughter, I think, at the time. I don't know how old she would have been, but... Maybe well, how one, old's Jason Gunn? He Gunn? may have had more than one child with him. I don't remember, but I, all I remember was I was too nervous to say hello. And one of my friends had to tap him on the shoulder and be like, Hi, are you Jason Gunn? He was chuffed. Well, obviously, because like, who remembers oh, Jason yes. Gunn? And he was like, do you want a photo? And we were like, oh, yes, so I've got a photo of Jason Gunn. So, Laura... Anna slash Anna. It's, it's Anna. It's Anna. Anna. It's just spelled Anna. Alright. But it's Laura, Anna, Anna uh, Kaylee, yes. and Carolyn. Carolyn. Were yeah. my. I know they were in the top. They're all four. females. Yes, they were. And they were all, I think, in the top. Nah, I don't think Kaylee was. They sort of. Oh, was she not? I, I yeah. thought those four were the ones that probably had the most natural talent. Yeah. So well, far. You know. Anna, freestyle skier, so I was probably yeah. used to sort yeah. of, you know, rotations. She had a lot orientation. Of performance compared yeah. to the other, a lot more. And like can put game face on when she needs yeah. to, because it's like nail down or run. Yeah. Speaking of good tricks, do you know who else had some good tricks? Who? Who? Laura. Who had good tricks? Laura, did you see those splits? Yeah, that was the move. The move of the, of the week. week. Even her final, final pose, she was like. Carolyn. She was, um, I liked your dress, it was fun. Oh, it was it the was tassels! Yeah, tassels Tassily. are... If you wanna, if you wanna, color. if you wanna, like, make a kind of, sort of a boringish dance exciting, tassel up. She was good. She, she was good. She could be a winner. Oh, potential winner! Nadia Lim. Oh, yeah. The master chef. She She's got like great it. moves in the kitchen, but can't she bring her to the dance floor? I don't know how I many can't even really remember her oh. dance. It she looked, she... Wasn't that memorable? No, well, I felt like Nadia lacked a little bit of confidence. And yeah. you could kind of tell. She had a little whoopsie, and then the judges kept on bringing up the whoopsie, oh, was which was like, okay, you know, I realise most people don't really pick up on the whoopsie. But there, yeah, there was a little whoopsie. And then they kept replaying. And they just, yeah, it's everyone like loves a whoopsie. It's like falling over all over again. Oh, that was gold! Meme! I love dancing with the stars! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who also had pretty good technique, and I think is a firm contender, is, is Randall from The Edge. Ooh, Volcan. He had, yeah. I think out of all the males, he probably had the best rhythm. Yeah, he bought the rhythm um, of the night. And saying that this was a week ago, I can't remember that much. I um, just remember he was the best out of all the males. Yeah, yeah. He, his, I'm pretty sure he had a pink vest. Lovely. But the leopard pants, I believe you have thoughts on, on leopard slash cheetah print on anything. Don't do it. Just don't do no it. No one. No. Unless you're They're Cheryl West. Okay. What happens if you're Cheryl West? Acceptable. Acceptable? Yeah. yeah, no, Randall's good. He's one to watch. He's got an advantage because 
he is male, and I always think males on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, okay, yeah, have I will an have to admit advantage. this. Dance with the Stars, the males have an advantage because what all they the can judges, do all is, the is they can just twirl their partner around, yeah. and it looks all pretty because it's the professional dancer pulling out the moves. Yeah. And it makes the whole thing Because the female is always the one that does the tricks. Yeah. So if you've got a professional dancer, she's already doing all yeah. the fancy stuff. Mm. You just have to be able to hold her. Unless you're a Laura and you can do the splits. Yeah. In which case then that's like, well done. Just, the camera died so we just have to re-go over the last three people. Starting with Jude. Hey Jude. Jude. <laughs> Jude. Mm. All I can say about Jude is that she wasn't really that memorable. Yeah, she just, she, she sort of just half-heartedly did yeah, her dance. Like, she, she had wasn't a whip. bad, she, was she wasn't good, she was just meh. Yeah, she, That's she, she could be in, in danger. Yeah, because I don't think she's going to get the popularity vote well, and, yeah. and she, yeah, she was just a bit boring, dare I say it. Yeah. That's that's all I have to say about Jude. Mm. Who's next? Well, the last two are the two rugby players. Ooh. Yes. Best Who? for last? Mm, nah. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> There's the battle between League and Union. Glenn versus Still Manu. Don't know. Glenn, about rugby. The, know Glenn what means. the policeman officer man. Good yes. after ball comes The one with the funny faces, the... Yeah. As he, he was dancing. He looks a little yeah, bit like a like fish. Like a fish, yeah. yeah. Um, dance to Poye, he was oh, singing yeah. along. Other than that, I don't actually really remember his dancing. Uh, every I think time, it was fine. Every time I think of the song Poye, I just expect it to be the Michael Jackson dance moves at the end of Boy, yeah, that yeah. sort of one. But it wasn't, yeah, no. so then... It was, it yeah. was fine. It was fun. But it wasn't the best. Yeah. yeah. Room for improvement. Yeah. And lastly, but not least, old Manu Vatabai. The warrior Manu. himself. The beast. Did the I, beast turn into beauty? No. No. I think he tried to turn into beauty, but I think that the, the dance was just a bit boring. Like, the choreography wasn't... He, he showed a soft side, which could, be, could be a good side, thing. He showed a soft side, but I just thought it was boring. I, don't I know. had fun with it. I you feel know? like he's got potential, but the song and the dance was just boring. That's all. I, I enjoyed his little boring. wink to the camera. That was fun, but I don't know. I just don't think that style suits him. Even though he can show a soft side, mm. I'd like to see him do something a bit more upbeat. So, yeah. yeah. I would like Jude to go home. Um, <laughs> I just thought she was really boring. Who knows? Maybe she'll be in be better next week. Um, who I think will go home? Honestly, anyone that's not Mike McRoberts because <laughs> he'll get the popularity yeah, vote. True. Um, anyone else could go home. Mm. That, it's just it's basically down to voting. It's not down to who's the best dancer I, at this point. I reckon. I reckon Walt's going home. <laughs> I don't know, I still think it's just a popularity nah, contest this I think week, he's going and we'll, we'll see, yes. we'll see. Yeah. He's trying though, bless him. Yeah, People might keep him on because he's entertaining, because he's so awkward. I don't know if, you know, if, that if, David if Seymour awkward factor. Is, is entertaining though. David Seymour. I reckon Mike Roberts is going to win, just out of just pure oh, popularity. Yeah. yeah. This is all a bit of fun, um, we're not like genuinely after anyone no. it's just just a bit of fun yeah. who are we to judge no. we're judging people but not we don't actually have anything against them no. No, I mean good on good all on the celebrities yeah. for yeah. doing it for their charities, for their charities and yeah. this week it was for the Christchurch victims which was a nice touch yeah good yeah. on you keep doing what you know and you're entertaining us uh, giving us content so yeah. thanks yeah so you do, he really like does love that. Oh, I love it! So anyway, that's, that's, that's that. us for this week. We'll uh, like, comment and subscribe. Time.